There are three things you need to know about cinnamon if you use it often as a spice or a supplement. I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman of ConsumerLab.com and we just tested all of these cinnamon spices and supplements for these three issues. I'm also going to tell you about one particular product that you should be careful with. So what are these three issues? Well, the first two are contaminants, lead and coumarin. Lead is a heavy metal that's toxic. Coumarin is also a kidney toxin, although it also adds flavor naturally to cinnamon. There are limits on how much you should get of both of these per day. Now, there are also potentially helpful compounds in cinnamon known as flavanol proanthrocyanidins or PACs. We tested products for all of these things, lead, coumarin, and PACs. So what did we find? Well, in terms of PACs, we found pretty high levels of PACs in many of these products. In the supplements, we found 7.2 milligrams up to 33.6 milligrams per serving. Interestingly, some of the cinnamon spices themselves had very high levels of PACs. In fact, a couple of them had over 40 milligrams per half teaspoon serving which is even more than in some of the supplements. However, there is also coumarin in these products and you don't want to get too much coumarin. An adult shouldn't get more than seven milligrams per day of coumarin and a child should get even less. However, one of the spices, actually this simply organic cinnamon, had eight milligrams of coumarin in just a half teaspoon or basically one gram serving. Some of the other cassia cinnamons or Vietnamese or Saigon cinnamons also came close to that level. It's best to avoid high amounts of coumarin like these if taken every day. And there are certainly other products that had lower amounts, particularly the Ceylon cinnamons, because Ceylon doesn't really have as much coumarin, which also explains why it doesn't have as much cinnamon flavor as the cassia cinnamons. One of the cinnamon supplements also had about 3.5 milligrams of coumarin per serving, so you wouldn't want to take more than two servings per day. In another of the supplements, which was labeled as a Ceylon cinnamon supplement, actually had two milligrams of coumarin, which, although not high, is unexpected for Ceylon, which really shouldn't have that much coumarin, making us think that perhaps it really wasn't made from Ceylon cinnamon. Now, lead contamination is also an issue with cinnamon. In fact, the FDA recently reported on several brands of cinnamon that were contaminated with two to seven micrograms per gram of lead. Fortunately, none of these products exceeded those levels, but one did have one microgram, or actually 1.1 micrograms of lead per serving, which would require a warning label if it were sold in California, for example. The lowest lead levels were actually in two of the regular or cassia cinnamons. So based on all of our findings, we selected three products to be our top picks for cinnamon, one of the supplements, one of the Ceylon cinnamons, and one of the cassia or Vietnamese or Saigon cinnamons. If you are one of more than 100,000 Consumer Lab members who support our research, you can go online right now and see our full report with results for each product as well as see which are our top picks.